What's up guys, Adrian Amaral with 911 Gadgets. In today's video, we're gonna be fixing a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. In this video, as you guys can clearly see, the OLED is messed up. It has that spot right there and then it starts doing this disco light flash down there. So we went ahead and we ordered the screen with the frame because we couldn't find it without the frame. I prefer doing it without the frame. In this case, we don't need to preserve the screen. We can just tear it off. But we didn't have it in stock. Nobody had it in stock. So we got the one with the frame. Looks like this, all right? So, um, let's get to it guys. All right, so what you're gonna need to do, is you're gonna wanna heat up the back really well, and then we're gonna go ahead and attack it probably from the bottom. Some people like the sides, and um, I'm gonna do it from the bottom, my norm. So let's make sure we heat it up really good, okay? And you're gonna want your blade, and then your special thickness pick right here that's in our kit, linked in the description, our starter repair kit. And then we have these right here. We're gonna give this a shot. Um, I think we're gonna include this in our repair kits as well, okay? All right, guys, that's nice and hot. They sell some blades that are thin and some thick ones. You don't want to use the thick ones because you could break it. Okay, this could be a little tricky here, guys, so. Make sure you heat up that part really well. This is scary. Be very careful. There it is. Just do it enough to stick the tip of this pick in, okay? I'm sorry if you guys didn't catch that on the camera, but Okay, so we got the pick in. Be careful with the corners. Be very careful with the corners. If you wanna use this, you can, but I think this pick should be good enough. See that? Okay, so we got that corner. So right now we're winning this battle, all right? I haven't even used this yet. Okay, it's nice and hot. We grab this pick and again, use the tip. Be very careful. There it is. We're under that corner. There it is. Beautiful. All right, we're winning this battle, guys. Cool. So now we're gonna heat up. Let's go around here. Heat 
heat it up as we pull upwards. All right, we're gonna use our plastic spudger, also included in our starter repair kit. There it is. Be careful because you're almost you're almost done winning this battle. You don't want to mess it up. This corner by itself can mess you up, okay? There it is guys. Beautiful. We kept most of the adhesive intact, see that? So we can reuse this one. All right, let's put this right here as much as we can. And the rest, we're just gonna, we're gonna cut the rest of it. There it is, we just cut that little excess adhesive. And there it is, we can reuse this again, okay? As long as there's no bulkiness, see it's still sticky. And you're gonna heat it up. And we'll clean these out just in case. I don't think we touched any of that, but. Beautiful, we got this off without breaking it. So it's a challenge, just make sure you use enough heat. I'm using the tip of this pick right here, which is, I think it's a little bit more flimsy than this actually, okay? I'm gonna try one with this and see how this works out. I'll do a video on that. All right, so here we are. I don't have the customer's passcode. It won't let me turn it off because it has uh, the passcode, right? But it's all good, we're just gonna start and take off the screws. Now I've asked this before, let me know, do you guys want me to fast forward this part where I'm taking off the screws? Or should I leave it in real time, just like this? I'm gonna fast forward it on this one, but let me know in the comments, okay? All right guys, I think we have all the screws. Um, this one right here broke, okay? This one right here broke off. So we're gonna leave that one alone when we put everything back together. One thing you guys wanna be careful for is the wireless charging pad. Um, make sure that you take it off nicely without breaking stuff, okay? Without like forcing it. So uh, it's gonna be right here, it's this one right here. Okay, before we do that, make sure that the screen is off. Okay, and quickly, there you go. Um, we wanted to get to the battery first, but you know, because that thing's in the way, we couldn't get to the battery, you see? 
batteries right in there. All right, so let's make sure everything is good here. Okay, see that here? Beautiful. Heat this up a little bit. There it is. Why are this charging pad done? Here's the battery. There you go. And then the screen's off now. Okay. Here's the battery. Main. Unplug main also carefully. Because we're going to transfer everything from here to here. This thing had some kind of protective film right there. I don't think we'll need it. Okay, so before we take anything off, we're gonna make sure that this screen works good. So let's unplug our, let's get our motherboard out. Okay, see how I just pulled this back like this? Put it in order, I'll put it down here. Okay, okay, we got that. Carefully unplug your, your cables, all right? Don't go crazy. Carefully unplug them. This one here is tricky. Let me see. Nothing on here, so. Okay, it's just a sensor that sits. See this whole thing right here? It sits in here. Let's heat that up a little bit. Let's grab our tweezers. Our handy dandy tweezers. Let's see if we get this sucker out. There you go. There you go, guys. You see that? We're going to try to leave this plugged in. We'll see in a bit. Here's the battery. Hmm. Alright, let's unplug things. Here's that one. Here is this one we can probably leave. Let's go ahead and um, take the screws off for the charging port. These two screws. Put them down here. Put them down here. Okay. And we're going to want to heat it up a little bit. Let's see if it comes out. Or let's try to poke it from inside, I guess. Or no, be careful. You don't want to mess up the charging port. Okay, so we got that right there. Cool. That thing... Feels like it wants to come out. What about this whole thing? Oh, see that? You gotta be careful. There's a screw right there. Bam. Screw right there. There's that. There's this. All right, we've got that charging port. This goes here, goes like this. Got it. This thing goes on the charging port right here. See that? Okay. Now, we wanna get the motherboard out and we're also gonna transfer the battery over now let's look at our new screen. Okay, so our screen has this already and it also has this, this is, I guess this is a wireless charging pad for the S Pen, which let's take the S Pen out now before we forget it in the old frame. There it is. So we won't need to transfer this over because it already has it. What about the bottom? This pink stuff right here. That pink little thing is already here. Um, we just need to transfer this vibrating mortar up here. And it looks like that's all we'll need to transfer from, 
from here to here. This metal plate is already here. See that metal plate? It's already there. Um, okay. But again, before we do anything, I want to test it real quick. I want to test the screen. So let's continue dismantling this thing. Let's unplug here. Got that wireless pad for the S Pen unplug. Uh, there's another similar thing like this one, like that, like this bar. There's another one up here. You see that? So let's go ahead and unplug that. There it is. And let's go ahead and heat it up. And notice there's a there's another cable here that comes from the screen, which is that one. So we're gonna unplug that too, but not yet. Um, you can if you want to. There it is. But what I meant is you don't have to unplug it to take this little bar out. And just an FYI, this screen still worked. It just gave flashes, but it still touched. So I might keep this just for data recovery. All right, so let's get this part out. There it is, and we'll put it up here at the top. There it is right here at the top, okay. Uh, we're gonna need to take, unplug this here, right there. Um, and let's try to lift this plastic. Make sure there's no screws. There it is, that's that top part plastic. Move the pen out of the way and put the plastic up at the top. It belongs up here at the top. Right up here. Okay. I'll move this up here to the right as well. All right. So that's what it looks like right now, guys. Here's this. I got the camera right there. Uh, this front facing camera. Let's go ahead and unplug that. All right, and let's heat it up some to try to take it out of there. Let's see if we can take this sucker out. There's like a blob of glue in there. There it is. See that blob of glue right there? We're gonna leave it there. So it, I think they might have made it too small or something and they, uh, yeah, cause it would have been loose in there. It's like hot glue, you know, my favorite. <laughs> I use hot glue all the time. All right. You don't wanna damage none of these cameras or anything. So I'm gonna set it right there the way it should go. There it is. Okay, now the motherboard. Let's see here, see if it lifts up. There it is, it just lifts up, see that? Oh, one important thing guys, our SIM card. There you go, take the SIM card out, put it right there. Carefully, there you go, you carefully pull it. Comes with the whole cameras and everything. All right, and we are almost done. Um, let's go compare our frames real quick. It looks like it has everything, see? Look at, look, our, we're gonna change the camera either way, okay? Cause this one comes with a front camera. But I've read, I'm not entirely sure, I've read that you need to replace it with the same camera. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and put our original camera in there, okay? We're gonna heat that up and just put, put our original one in there just to be safe. Okay, it has these little gold pads. Gold pads, all right. Uh, plastic housing up there, plastic housing right here. What else? Nothing in here, nothing in there. You, look, you go around it and just look, everything looks similar. Okay, all right, this thing needs, right? Oh yeah, it does have it, it's in here. Yeah, it's right in there, so we don't, we don't need it. 
I'll just put it in here with my screws. So we don't need to transfer that. Anything else that you see here? All right, everything is there. Um, Okay, everything looks good guys. It doesn't look like we need to transfer anything else, just this camera. So before I take the camera out of this thing, we're gonna test it, okay? Because I don't want them to not be able to refund the money because I took out that camera, okay? So you always wanna test your stuff first, cool? Cool. Okay, there's that. We need to get our, um, this is our new screen, okay? But we're gonna put it to the side because we need to get our battery from here. Also found in our kit. this stuff out of position but it's okay what can I use what can I use Something else in there. This big old thing. Look, I'm not going like this. I'm keeping it steady and flat. Woo! Okay, let's put this away for a bit. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and We're plugging our screen right here to the motherboard. Plug in this piece again to the motherboard also. And I think that's all we're gonna plug in. So let's, let's put in our battery, let's plug in our battery here. And let's turn this puppy on, okay? There it is, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. So the screen looks good, guys. Okay. There it is. Just gonna make sure the touch works real quick. Yep. And it works perfectly. Let's go ahead and unplug it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish off transferring things. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these plastics. Uh, I'm gonna unplug this real quick. <clears throat> okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this wireless charging pad. Actually, no, not yet, sorry. We are going to unplug everything again. Take this motherboard out. And we're gonna make sure that everything we need is transferred over, okay? We're gonna take this off as well. See this right here? All right, so like I said, we're gonna just replace that camera. Don't go too deep guys because there is a new screen right there that you can damage. See, it's all screen. See that? If you go in and you go in there deep and you go super, super deep, you can damage the screen. So be careful. This is the new camera, but we're gonna set it to the side. We're gonna bring our old camera and go ahead and install that one in here, okay? Just make sure and it's gonna fit. Okay, so the, the, the glue stayed in here. So I'm gonna go and remove this glue. Got it? There it is. Heat it up a little bit. And we're gonna stick it in there. Bam. Beautiful. There's that new camera. I mean, sorry, the original camera. And now we're gonna look at the old frame and make sure that everything else is transferred over, okay? Okay, this is the new, this is the old. Look at here, this is a little plastic, it already has it. Okay, camera, it has it. Everything else here, yep, you don't need to transfer anything here, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing here. This has copper, this has some graphite, however you say it. All right, good, 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 good. Everything is there, everything is there. This wireless pad for the S Pen. Good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, everything. Everything is there, guys, except for this. We gotta transfer that over. The vibrating motor. There it is, guys. And just one quick look at both of them again. Just to make sure that there's nothing that I may be missing, okay? I'm looking at the bottom end right now. Right here, that's what I'm looking at. Okay, that metal plate by the charging port is there. That little plastic housing is there. And the little pink thing is there. Okay, that's it. Top. Everything's there. 
Okay. Let's look at the frame, inside the frame. You see those gold pads, they're, they're there. See those gold pads right there on the top of the frame. On the side, let's look at the side. All there. Let's look at this side. All there. Yep. Okay. So let's start building this thing back up and we're good to go, guys. Let's put the motherboard. Okay, make sure you don't leave no little connector behind. There you go. There's this one here. Uh, okay, here's this. Bam. Connect the little wireless pad for the S Pen. Connect this part of the screen. Connect the front facing camera. There's that front facing camera, just connected it. All right, while we're at it, let's go ahead and install our SIM card. There it is. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and put a couple of our things right in here. This is one thing. Plug that in. Um, anything else that we need to connect, guys? Okay, we've got this. I'm looking for this. What goes here? That little connector. Let me see. What's this? No, there's something that goes there. Okay, it's this part right here. All right, so don't forget about that part. It goes right there. It goes right there in that connector. Okay, so let's make sure we got everything plugged in. Front camera's plugged in, SIM card is in, this little piece is in. So let's go ahead and put this back on. Plug it in, there it is, plugged in. Make sure you're not touching this camera, I almost touched it. Okay, so you got that. Then we're gonna need to put our battery. I'm gonna add some adhesive to that. Just a couple little strips. Cause that one, that adhesive it has is still pretty sticky, but we're still gonna secure it with some more double-sided tape. Okay. Gonna put one. Yeah, see, it's sticky still. So we'll put one little piece right here. And another smaller piece. Maybe like right here. All right, let's go ahead and peel it. I like to plug it in real quick, just so it could be lined up. And then I plug it right away. Okay, so plug in the screen here. There's the LCD or OLED. Connect it. I have a 
feeling, yeah, that's how that goes. All right. All right. Now we're going to connect, you know, put our charging port in here. There's two pads right there and there's two pins right here. So we're going to line those up just like so. Okay, let's put in the charging port screws. And then there's that one screw that holds down this little daughter board. All right, so there's that. Let's plug this in up here to the motherboard. Got it. And then this thing, remember it goes in here in this slot, just like this top one over here at the top right, the same thing. Line that up. I can't remember if the battery goes over it, but it doesn't look like it does. So it goes under it, okay? Don't plug in the battery yet. And you plug this into that daughter board down here. Okay. And like I said, it doesn't look... Actually, it might go right here. It might go like this. No, it doesn't go like that. Let's put it under the... under The, the battery's going to go under the main... That main cable right there. There it is. Okay, there's that. Looks like that's how it goes. I should. I'll replay the video later. That's. I think that's how it goes. Okay, so we've got all that plugged in. We're gonna put this bottom part. I dropped this earlier, so we gotta figure out how it goes. See this big speaker here? It doesn't fit there. It fits right in there. So I gotta turn it around, just like this. Okay. There you go. I remember that that screw down here broke off. Somewhere, it's broken off in there. So here's that part. Now we plug in the battery. All right. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. Um, there was two black screws that went here, I believe. We're gonna find out right now. Okay, so line this up, plug that in. Got it. And let's just follow our, our little structure over here. So I get the one on the very bottom right, so it's gonna be down here. But again, this is the one that broke. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it still works, but it did break though. Half of it stayed inside. Then we get these two middle ones. Don't over tighten them guys, just enough. Just do it enough.
All right, guys, let's put our S Pen back in the new frame. There it is. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get a Q-tip real quick, and we're just gonna clean right in there. Just to be sure that there's no like smudges or anything like that. Then we're gonna heat it up. And now the glue should be ready to stick. All right, we'll go around it, press it down. And just hold it down so that it can stick. And we are done with this repair, guys. Now, the last thing we need is to turn it on and see a line down that screen. Sometimes it happens if you put a longer screw where it shouldn't go. Most cases, Samsung's the screws are all the same, but you can get fooled by that because one year they might pull something like Apple and just pick a random screw in there and messes up. But, um, it's happened to me before. It could probably happen if you over tighten it also. I'm not sure, but you want to be careful. Okay. Clean it up for the customer real quick. There's a lot of gunk. He's a construction worker, so. Do a nice little cleaning. All right, here we go. The moment of truth, guys. <gasps> Don't be broken. Don't be broken. These are rookie mistakes, guys, and can happen to anybody. Not even rookie, They're, they can happen to anyone. Yes, it's good. You know why I was a little scared? Because I tightened the screw and I heard a clack, but it must've just been that plastic falling in place or sitting into place. There it is, guys. The speakers are working. And again, I don't really test them anymore just because I trust myself and I trust my suppliers, in other words. And that's why I don't really test too much too many things, you know? But if you're starting out barely, you wanna test out a lot of things, not just uh, not just do it, just like, you know, just let it go. But I don't know, depends on you. Anyways, this is how you fix the Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G screen. That's how you replace it, okay? If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you guys wanna join our team, and learn how to open your own cell phone repair shop or your your own computer repair shop, go to 91gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training or 91gadgets.com forward slash computer repair training. I have the five day curriculums there where you'll get access to our Facebook group. We're growing really fast and it's an amazing group. We help each other out. We don't belittle anybody, okay? You come in here to learn and that's what you that's what you're gonna do you're gonna learn okay i love you guys god bless you all we'll see you guys in the next video peace out oh don't forget to like this video